So Leah, let's see what's in store for you. I have a Queen of Cups reversed. That showed up for Cancer as well. I have Justice. That also showed up. And then I have a Five of Pentacles. Okay. This is Nine of Wands, reverse. A Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. Pentacles, as I said in the previous readings, Pentacles seem to be very relevant for everybody. And it could be the season, this time of the year that we're heading into. This is the Magician. We have a Three of Pentacles reversed. A Queen of Pentacles. Now you're a fire sign, Leo. Remember that. Wands are your element. And then we have the tower reversed. Interesting, interesting. I will pull the outcome card after the main reading. The major arcana that you have, Leo, are two cards, three cards actually. You go from justice, which is equality and fairness, to the magician. The magician uses his gifts, his power, um, his will, his intent to make things happen. He casts a spell. He's able to work with, he understands the mysteries or the secrets of what's ever going on. Then that brings us to the tower reversed. And sometimes the tower, you see this crown. It's not as, um, prominent in the Rider Wake illustrations. But when you see this crown being knocked off the tower, it's symbolic of an ego being knocked down. Okay. Um, as you know, the biblical story, this is, this is about the Tower of Babylon. I mean, the Tower of, oh, well, I just forgot what the tower was, the Tower of Babel. And so they built this tower because in the biblical story, they wanted to build a tower tall enough to reach God, to reach the heavens. And God struck it down. Their egos were getting out of control. They wanted to be God. They wanted to, um, they wanted to be exalted, so to speak. So they were knocked down. But the tower can also mean an unexpected calamity or crisis. Now, when this is in reverse, it doesn't necessarily mean the crisis is not going to come. It just means that there are a lot of issues that might lead to a disaster that need to be addressed. Okay? So it doesn't necessarily mean that a disaster is not coming, but sometimes when the tower is reversed, it is sort of giving a warning that the path or the situation that's evolving is going in this direction. It's heading into disaster. Okay, and this is in your near future. Well, maybe your far future. I consider when I look at the future here in these readings, I'm looking at four to six weeks, maybe four to eight weeks out. Okay, so that's your major arcana. And I think the, these three major arcana fit together um, because, Leo, I think you're trying to make a situation work for you. You're trying to... And this isn't just about relationships. It just seems as if you're trying to um, adjust, but also make this situation go in your favor. I see this as your energy, not necessarily someone else's. And that's because the magician has a wand in his hand. And wands are fire. So you're trying to use your, your, nat your energy okay, and your motivation um, to make a situation work out in your favor. Now, 
Um, also, pentacles seem to be very relevant here because we go from a five of pentacles, which is the card of poverty and loss. And I love the way this is illustrated because usually in the right of weight, you have a woman and child destitute out in the cold. But here you have a barren tree. It's winter time. There's no growth. There are no leaves. Everything is hibernating. But this is only temporary. Prosperity will come back. But this is a season where you're dealing with a particular loss. So I like this interpretation of Five of Pentacles with this new tarot deck because it's saying that this is only whatever loss that you've dealt with in the past, it's only for, it's only temporary. This just happens to be a period of time where you're taking a loss. Maybe you don't have as many resources or you're not receiving all the help that you need. And I think this being next to the Justice card in the Queen of Cups reverse, it's telling me that maybe there was an unfair situation that emotionally was very difficult to handle. The Justice card could also mean some legal issues, um, a legal issue that financially was not in your favor as well. Okay. And maybe this has a lot to do with this Queen of Cups. But moving on to the Pentacles, you do have a Ten of Pentacles right in the middle of, right in the middle of your spread. And this can mean a family home, family inheritance, family prosperity. You see the grandfather with the grandchild and the dog and the happy couple. So maybe at the heart of this issue, in addition to not just um, a romantic relationship, there could be some family issues going on, family issues with money. And maybe those issues are also, you know, there's a legal issue with those, with that money or inheritance. So that's one um, interpretation of this card. Prosperity and happiness are an issue here. And when we get to these other pentacles, this three of pentacles, and this is in your future, this three of pentacles is reversed. Usually this is the card of using your gifts and talents. Um, it's also a card about, it's also a card about labor, your vocation, your work. And usually when I read these cards, I read them in terms of relationship issues, seeing that this seems to be something that bothers most people that they want answers to. So this Three of Pentacles reverse could mean that certain situations with a relationship have not been worked out, but it could also mean a lack of commitment as well, that things are not solid. Three is the number of perfection, okay? And so when threes are reversed, it means that things are not, um, it's not a matter of things not being perfect, but things are not, once again, things are going downhill. They're not working out because pentacles are about stability. So that brings us to this queen of pentacles, who's next to this three of pentacles reversed. And I think it's interesting when we transition from a Queen of Cups reverse to a Queen of Pentacles. This could be someone totally different than the Queen of Cups. But we're looking at a woman. This is symbolic of someone, usually a woman, who's prosperous. She's giving. She's able to nurture and help things grow. Okay, when you see these flowers, flowers are kind of symbolic here. You have flowers with the magician as well. And so when you see flowers in tarot, you see things growing and blooming. And roses, you see these opulent, luxurious roses as well. So it's interesting for this deck of cards, he's surrounded by roses. And roses seem to be this flourishing of intent this seriousness, this depth of understanding and prosperity. And so they're showing up again with this Queen of Pentacles. 
um, the roses in the magician, the roses in this queen of pentacles. Maybe there's something that's growing. Someone's directing their affection, their feelings towards this queen of pentacles. Maybe this issue is about this queen of pentacles here. Making a, you know, and this can be a man or a woman, but maybe it's about making a family or a relationship. Dealing with stability. And once again, those legal issues or money issues that I keep saying here. So I think it's interesting, all these pentacles, these four pentacles, that are kind of giving me insight into this story here of what's going on with you. So maybe there's um, an issue with someone, this queen of pentacles here, where things are a little shaky, but things, I think the message I'm getting so far is that things will remain stable. So the first row, once again, what I'm getting is an issue of um, a loss. And it could have something to do with a decision or a legal issue, but it's definitely about fairness and the right thing being someone doing the right thing. But this Queen of Cups... This, when this is in reverse, it can represent someone who's very insecure, who could be emotionally unstable. When this is reversed, and maybe this has a lot to do with this Justice card that's leading to the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Justice card isn't reversed. And if it was reversed, I would think that there's something very unfair going on. Okay? I'm not getting quite that, you know, it's upright. So I'm thinking, okay, what's going on here with Leo? And maybe there was some type of legal decision that did affect, um, you know, looking at things literally and not just in a romantic sense. I am getting a picture of dealing with a loss that has a lot to do with someone's emotional instability and unhappiness. Okay, that maybe someone was very demanding. Maybe they were demanding things to be fair. Maybe you were demanding things to be fair. But when I get to this five of pentacles, I'm getting a sense that because of this queen of cups and things being not trying to make things fair, um, trying to be on the same page with this Queen of Cups, I'm getting a sense that there's a loss here, that it's not just about money or finances. We're dealing with poverty in relationships, dealing with a poverty of emotions. And maybe you're leaving this Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups is leaving the picture here. And then this Queen of Pentacles is the person a different person who's coming into your life or someone who's actually going to help you. So that's how I'm looking at this first row. When we get to the second row, this nine of wands in reverse, you see this woman being very defensive because maybe she's anticipating a fight. And so when this is in reverse, once again, I don't think the fight or the danger is disappearing. But the Nine of Wands is all about, and Wands are your energy, Leo, maybe you're very worried about a particular outcome that will happen that you have no control over. Okay? And maybe there's a little bit of insecurity. Maybe you're being defensive for the wrong reasons. Maybe you've had a reason. Maybe because of this Queen of Cups and what happened with this Five of Pentacles, Maybe you've had a reason to be very defensive. You're not as defensive as if, you know, if the Nine of Wands was upright, you're being full-on defensive and afraid of what's happening. You know, you're anticipating someone hurting you. If it's in reverse, maybe not so much, okay? But um, when we head into this Ten of Pentacles and the Magician, I'm looking at these two together as this is what you 
are dealing with. You're trying to get from five pentacles increasing to ten pentacles. Okay, by the time we get here, the three of pentacles is reversed. So um, I see a lot of intent and will and desire. You might be a little afraid, but nevertheless, maybe, Leo, you want this relationship to work out. You're taking your wand, you're taking your firepower here, and you're taking a new direction. And maybe this direction, the person with pentacles energy is not ready to work with you just yet. Okay, maybe this Three of Pentacles is more aligned heading into this last row. It has a lot to do with the energy of this Queen of Pentacles. And once again, this is about not only using your gifts and using the power of your gifts, like the Magician, but if this is reverse, it's sort of telling me there's a lack of harmony or unity. Okay. And maybe this Queen of Pentacles will not be on the same page with you. And this can be a man or a woman. Queens just mean the energy is passive, not active. Queens are the flip side of the king. The king is the ruler, the master. The queen is also ruling, but she's ruling from her internal energy. She's ruling passively. She's in the background. And it's more emotional, not so much mental with kings. Okay, it's more of things going on inside with you and not necessarily outward circumstances with the king. That's what queens mean. It's more of an internal issue. But it can also represent an actual person. And maybe things with this person are still not going to click just yet. Which is why, as I've explained for the tower, that maybe this path will be frustrating for you. It's not heading to disaster yet, but it is going to be very frustrating for you. And maybe there's someone ego. Maybe this ego of the Queen of Pentacles might be getting in the way. All right. So there could be a clash of wills happening here between this magician, which is your energy, and the Queen of Pentacles with someone else. And maybe this clash is being reflected in the tower, which is in your future. Okay, so let me pull your outcome card. Whoa. Okay. Card. Okay, I have some cards that fell out. These, this new deck is kind of frisky. You have two cards. You have an Eight of Pentacles and an Ace of Wands, which is very good for you. Because this means you're getting things done. There's a new inspiration. There's a new lease on life with this Ace of Wands. Butterflies are very, very important here. Butterflies are carefree. They don't follow a strict path. They're just going with the flow. They're finding their own happiness. They're not bound to any situation. At the same time, you have this ace, Eight of Pentacles here, which means focus, getting to work. And with all these Pentacles, the fact that this Eight of Pentacles fell out, it means that maybe things with this Queen of Pentacles will start to move forward. And I think the Ace of Wands represents your happiness and your feelings about that, which I think is coming very soon. Okay. So I think that's a good turnout that it seems as if the story the tarot is telling me is that you had a very difficult situation, maybe with a different person and things were kind of bleak, lonely, um, they were kind of bleak and lonely and desperate for you for a little period of time because of this justice issue with the Queen of Cups. But as we head into this middle row, 
it seems as if with this nine of wands, you're being tentative and careful after going through all this. You have a chance to rebuild a family, rebuild prosperity. This magician, this is definitely your energy where you're taking the reins here of your destiny. You're taking control. This leads you to more pentacles with this three of pentacles connected to this queen of pentacles where there's a hint of happiness. There's a possibility and things are kind of shaky with this tower in reverse, but the outcome, the tarot is telling you that things are going to get a little bit more stable. Um, you are going to get a new opportunity, a new lease on life, whether it's a relationship, it could even be a job situation for some of you, but in romantic terms or in terms of relationships, this queen of pentacles energy, this eight of pentacles is saying that things will start to move forward especially with this Ace of Wands, what your energy is going to be like as well. Okay, so I think that's really great. That's a good outcome for you, Leo. So thank you to everybody for your support, your comments, your donations. Um, I hope you had a great birthday. I hope you had a wonderful summer. The autumn equinox is approaching to where we head to the dark side a little bit. The sun will be diminished. That might affect your energy a little bit, Leo. But I don't, you know, once again, sometimes we need to experience light and darkness. I don't think, you know, it's necessarily a bad thing. So I hope to see you online. I wish you love and light. And I hope to talk with you soon. Take care.